This short video is going to go through the grades setup wizard and offer some suggestions for how you might set things up. So let's go down to the beginning. We're going to select start. Start takes us to our first screen. And right off the bat, we have a choice between the grading system of weighted and points. For maximum power and flexibility, we're going to choose weighted. Come on down to continue. Now we have the final grade released for the automatic grade to constantly be updated and shared with the students automatically, we want to choose calculated final grade. It's a bit of a misnomer because this is not necessarily the finer grade. It is uh, the up to the minute current grade. So if that's what you're looking for, this is what you're looking for. We're also going to click automatically release final grade and then click continue. Step three is grade calculations. We want to choose drop ungraded items, not treat ungraded items as zero. This means anything that's not been marked, even assignments students haven't gotten to yet, will have a zero waiting for them when they get there. So this can really skew the average. You choose drop, drop ungraded items and make sure you select auto update to keep the final grade updated. Step four is organization schemes. If for whatever reason you have another scheme down here, do not click it. Make sure that percentage is the organization scheme because at the end of the day, the percentage is what the students and parents and uh, reporting wants to see. So percentage is the grade scheme. Step five, managing view display. This is for you, the managing view. How many decimal places? You can have two if you want. I'm going to suggest no matter what you choose, make sure that you are viewing the same number of decimal places as the student. So I choose one, select continue. And in my next step, I can choose down here the number of decimal places to display. I'm choosing one again. Let's look up here for a second. Right now, points grade is clicked. Uh, often weighted grade will also be clicked. I would recommend or we would recommend taking weighted grade off and making sure that points grade, grade scheme symbol, which is the percentage, and grade scheme color, which is a nice color coding feature that grades has, uh, which serves as a visual reminder for students that they might need to look at a certain assignment, have those selected. Points grade, grade scheme symbol, grade scheme color, one decimal place, uh, 15 characters is fine for the text items, and then final grade calculation, we want display final grade calculation to users so they can see how they got what they got. Go ahead and hit continue. This brings us to step seven, which is a summary. So let's take a look at that summary. We've chosen a weighted grade system. We are choosing to release the calculated final grade, which is really just the up to the minute grade. And we have asked that it automatically release the final grade. In grade calculations, we've selected drop on graded items because we don't want zeros unless we are putting them in. And again, we've selected to automatically keep final grades updated. The default grade scheme is percentage. If it's anything else, go back and change it to percentage. We have managing view display options. That's how many decimal places. We've chosen one. We've chosen one for the students as well. And we're choosing to share with them their points grade, which is the out of grades, so like nine out of 10. We're not sharing their weighted grade. They can find that out using the calculator. And we are choosing to share with them their percentage grade, which is the scheme symbol, and the grade scheme symbol color. Down here, lastly, we've got display the final grade calculation to users so that if they want to see why they got what they got, they can do that with the click of a mouse. Select finish and we are good to go.